Hi everyone. It's been a while since I have done some videos, but we are slowly coming into spring and I had to run into Walmart to uh, buy bread the other day. And I noticed at the very end there was green. So of course I had to go take a walk down there, see what um, they got in because it had been bare for a while. And what do I see sitting there is a ring of fire, which I actually don't have. So obviously I had to bring this very pretty ring of fire, a philodendron home. Now it's in one of these pots that is self-watering, but as most of you know, um, philodendrons do like to have like some moist soil, but they don't want to be moist all the time. So I was a little concerned. I don't know if you can tell, this is obviously in some like peat or cocoa choir uh, only. And that really tends to hold a lot of water. I'm gonna gently just try to break up some of this dirt here because I want to put this in a more airy mix. I worry that this is just not going to get enough airflow. I had a different philodendron in moss for a while and it did well, but then it started to go the opposite direction because after a while they just you know, they start growing more roots and they do, like I said, they do like moist soil, but they're not quite to like alacosia point where, you know, they want their soil much more moist uh, or damp, I guess you could say. These guys, they don't want to dry out, but they also don't want to sit in wet. So that is why I am going to change this up. And I'm not saying this is like bad. This isn't bad uh, soil, just not what I would plant this particular plant in. I would be afraid we would get root rot. I think we're, we're okay. I'm definitely not gonna water this guy for a few days until it acclimates some. I think considering the size of the roots, it does have nice roots. So I think I'm gonna leave it in this pot. I'm just gonna use my mix, which I'll show you guys here. Get some in this pot and then I'll show you. So I prefer, you can tell I have big pieces of bark in here. I have perlite, I have some uh, leca balls. Like I said, lots of chunky bark. There are worm castings. I put some miracle Grow like tropical soil in there. I just mix a whole bunch together so it can breathe a little better, not hold on to too much. Moisture. Enough moisture, but not 
too much moisture. I'm gonna make sure some of this is tucked in enough. go a quick repot into better soil I might even leave it in this pot and not use the self watering system that uh, Costa Farms talks about that is all I have for you guys today thanks <laughs>